If you're anything like me, you love filling your home with the latest and greatest smart home devices from voice assistants to smart locks. There's actually no shortage of ways to make your life more convenient with the help of technology. And now, thanks to the latest update from SwitchBot, the SwitchBot Hub 2, you can now even add more devices to your home automation. Let's check it out. Hi, this is Art again from Futex Later. And today we are going to talk about a new device from SwitchBot, the Hub 2. Let's see how this works and if SwitchBot lived up to their promise during this year's CES or Consumer Electronics Show of bringing HomeKit or I should say Apple Home Support through Matter. Which if you don't have any idea, you can check the video we posted a while back talking about it. Just click the card right here. By the way, thanks to SwitchBot for sending this device for us to test them out ahead of its actual launch. If you are interested in picking one up, I will leave their link in the description below along with other of their devices. As of making this video, SwitchBot is now accepting orders for their Hub 2 as a pre-order that is scheduled to ship on April 13th around the world. Go check that out. Again, link is in the description below where you can save 15% off to your purchase. Now that is out of the way, let's check what comes in the box. What we have in here is the hub itself, but let's place it on the side for now. And underneath, we got some paperwork, a power adapter, a USB-A to USB-C for power, which we will talk about later and extra 3M sticky tapes and that's about it. So the SwitchBall Hub 2 again was announced during CES 2023 in Las Vegas that promised to bring matter support to their existing devices and it's already a great addition to any smart home. Another benefit of the Hub 2 is it allows you to control your existing non-smart devices like your TV, your air conditioner, any lights that uses IR through your phone or voice assistant. So the question now is, why is this update such a big deal? Well, for starters, it means that the SwitchBot Hub 2 is now compatible with even more devices than before. If you're an Apple user, you'll be pleased to know that you can now control your SwitchBot devices natively from the home app. Which before, you need to use a third-party solution like Hoops or Homebridge to add SwitchBot devices to the home app and use it on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac. But if you're not an Apple user, don't worry. SwitchBot Hub 2 still supports Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, and IFTTT. Right now, SwitchBot says that you can only add their Smart Curtain Motor and their Blind and Tilt 1 to the home app through the Hub 2 using Matter, and the rest of their devices will be in the upcoming updates. Like their very popular SwitchBot Bot, hopefully motion and contact sensors, and why not any non-smart devices like your TV, air conditioner, and anything that uses IR can be added. Now let's talk first what are the things that the Hub 2 can do as a standalone device. If you are someone who don't use either Apple Home, Google, or Alexa, what's in it for you getting this device, right? Well, good thing you asked. The Hub 2 can control IR devices like what I mentioned. And unlike the Hub Mini that can basically do the same thing, another benefit of using the Hub 2 is that the range for its IR transmission has been doubled. That means you won't need to buy multiple Hub Minis just to reach those other non-smart devices. The Hub 2 is a sensor as well. It can detect light intensity, temperature, and humidity where you can create custom automations based on those events like turn a fan on if it's warm and turn off a humidifier if the humidity is too high. Next is it acts as a central hub as well to SwitchBot's Bluetooth devices like their curtain motors, sensors, 
that makes those devices work even you're out of Bluetooth range. Speaking of Bluetooth, the hub can work without Wi-Fi since your phone can talk to the hub through Bluetooth that means you can still control your IR powered devices even the Wi-Fi is out. The Hub 2 has two switches on its panel that allows you to control your switchboard devices through scenes. You can set a specific scene. All you need to do is press their on and off button which adds convenience. But what really sets the Switchbot Hub 2 apart from other smart home hubs is its simplicity. Unlike some other devices that require a lot of setup and configuration, the Switchbot Hub 2 is incredibly easy to use. Here's how you can set up the Switchbot Hub 2. Download the Switchbot app from Apple App Store or Google Play. Create an account if you don't have one yet. Then plug it in. Then from the app itself, tap the plus sign. Then on the hub itself, press and hold the on and off button for more than 2 seconds. Once the light indicator starts flashing, tap next. Enter your Wi-Fi credentials and you're good to go. All you have to do now is to connect your Wi-Fi network and pair it with your existing devices. And thanks to its compact size, you can place it just about anywhere in your home without taking so much space. And you are probably here because of the HomeKit support that this hub offers, right? So here's how you can add matter to bring this curtain motor from our bedroom to Apple Home. Once the hub is added to the Switchboard app, tap the settings icon on the upper right corner then go to an option where it says Matter Configuration which is in beta. Then copy the pairing code, hit connect. Then the Switchboard app will take you to the Home app where you need to tap the plus sign to add an accessory. Tap Hub 2 under Nearby Devices, enter the code, then simply wait. After that, you're good. You just need to place this hub to a room, add a name, rename the sensors if you need to. Now to see the curtain that is connected to the hub, head over to your home settings, then go to home hubs and bridges. The new name of the hub too should display on your end, then tap accessories. The first two are the sensors and the third one is the connected devices which in my case, the curtain motor where I can rename it and place it to a room which is in our bedroom. You can now ask Siri to close and open the curtain, create automations along with other devices compatible to your Apple Home app. Again, as of making this video, the curtain 1 and 2 and the Switchbolt Tilt are the only supported devices through Matter that you can use. During CES, Switchbolt demoed how you can control their smart lock through the Home app. So that could be on their next update, hopefully. I'm very excited to see this little button pusher from the Home app. How about you? What are the things that you think that you can use Switchbolt devices to your existing smart home? Let me know in the comments below. So if you're looking for a simple, versatile, and affordable way to add even more smart devices to your home, the Switchball Hub 2 is definitely worth considering. With support for HomeKit through Matter, it's now even more versatile than ever. There you go, that's how you set up the new Hub 2 from Switchbot that you can add Matter compatible devices over to Apple Home. Again, I left links in the description below. I included a special link that automatically applies 15% off in your purchase. It's an affiliate link. So if you end up buying from that link, that will help out the channel and save you 15% off. So win-win for both of us, right? Check that out. Again, this is Art from Futex Later. Thank you so much for watching and see you in our next video.